Chalatna Lake is 90 miles north of Ted Stevens. Like 80% of Alaska, it's inaccessible by road. Alaska native Matt and his girlfriend Emily have run a hunting lodge by the lake for six years. But they have a problem. Their plane is grounded. The plane is uh, its very important for me because I can't just drive to the grocery store or anything like that. I keep the plane up here throughout the winter, and then there's always various parts that you need. You know, things break. Until Nick arrives with the oil to get the plane back in the sky, Matt and Emily are stranded. Charters are not cheap. Having the plane allows me to go kind of whenever I want to and saves me a little bit of money. And without the airplane, we're completely stuck up here. It's essential for us to get our food in here and stock up for at least a month or two to make sure we have everything that we need. We've been waiting on some oil and an oil filter so that I can get that thing back up in the air. And then probably some groceries and some beer. <laughs> All the important things. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> It's 9 a.m., an hour before takeoff, and Nick is worried about the weather. Uh, the weather changes really quick in Alaska. Every day we do this, we have to deal with the weather and make decisions based on what we think it will be and our ability to do the flight and return. We normally don't launch unless we have a really good idea that we can make it to where we need to go. Right now, it's kind of an overcast day with some fog here and also some fog at the lodge, the way it sounds. Flying at low altitude, towering mountains and fog can be a deadly combination. But in Alaska, there's over 230 cameras watching the skies. These little remote places don't have weather reporting, but the FAA has put cameras up here in Alaska, which is awesome for us. Four cameras monitor today's route. We can look at these cameras and kind of get an idea of what's going on with the weather. On a clear day, we know that this mountain is right here. It's eight miles away at 3,000 feet. And today, we can't see that mountain. But right now, there's fog down low, so it's virtually impossible to remain clear of the clouds or the fog. It's 100% no go. Nick won't be flying today. Matt and Emily will have to wait until the weather clears for their supplies. Yeah, it's frustrating from a business standpoint. Your planes are sitting on the ground. If we can't fly safely, we can't fly. Uh, Matt's fuel and supplies and the oil he's waiting for, he'll have to wait another day. And Alaska wins, and we'll do it again tomorrow. 